Now, different combinations of resistors will start with the series connections for resistors. Okay, the series connections. Suppose I'll consider an electrical circuit. Okay, containing n resistors which are connected in series. Now, what a series connection implies is that if there are some n resistance R1, R2, okay, to R n, okay, they are connected across an EMF across a cell, okay, such that the current through each of the resistor is same. That is through R1 the current which is flowing is I, through R2 it is also I, through R n it is also I. So we can say that in this case all the resistors are connected in series with each other. Okay, so the condition for the resistors to be connected in series is that the current which would be flowing through each of the resistors would be same. Okay, now in this case the equivalent resistance of the circuit would be R equivalent would be the algebraic summation of the resistors R1 plus R2 plus one plus Rn. Okay, now um, just this this would appear very simple, but just uh, uh, let us have a very uh, good understanding of this by some app, uh, some uh, numerical or some very simple uh, problem. Okay, what we can do is uh, in our case we can consider three resistors R1, R2, and R3. Okay, and suppose we'll assign some value to this uh, resistors. Suppose that this is eight ohm, this is also eight ohm, and suppose this is four ohm. Okay, now as per this formula, if we'll apply this formula to get the equivalent resistance of uh, the combination of the resistors, we can say that the equivalent resistor for this circuit would be R1 plus R2 plus R3. That is R1 plus R2 plus R3, which is in our case would be 8 plus 8 plus 4 ohms or 20 ohms. Okay. Now, a very important thing which we can observe from this result is that okay, the equivalent value of the resistor is 20 ohm. Okay. And this 20 ohm is larger than even the largest value of the individual resistance which we can see. Okay. Mintu says that in these uh, three resistors, in the given three resistors, the maximum value of the resistor which we can observe is 8 ohm. Okay. And the result which we are getting is even higher than that value of the resistor. So this is very important result. Okay. If we want to increase the value of the resistance, what we can do is we can connect a very large value of resistor in series with the circuit that in turn would help us to increase the value of the resistance of the entire circuit. Okay. Similar, uh, actually this concept we would be using later on when we will be uh, dealing with the concept of voltmeter and an emitter, and an, and an emitter okay, wherein we will be connecting some of the combinations of resistors either in series or in parallel. Okay. We will just uh, see later what is parallel uh, cases of the resistors, how we can connect the resistors in parallel. But for now, we can observe now here is that the resistors are said to be in series when the current flowing through the circuit through the resistor is same, all of the resistors are same and the equivalent value of the resistor would be higher than even the largest value of the resistor which is present. Okay. Uh, now let, uh, let us go to the other uh, combination of the resistors that is when the resistors are connected in parallel to each other. Okay. Uh, now when the resistors are connected in parallel it implies that the volt, the potential or the voltage across each of the resistors is same. What we saw in the series connection was that the current flowing through each of the resistors would, uh, was same. But now when we will be considering the parallel combination of the resistance, okay, so for the parallel combination, we would be saying that when the, suppose there are n resistors and each of these n resistors are connected in such a manner that the potential drop across the resistors are same. Suppose there are R1, R2 and suppose there are N resistors and this in turn is connected to some external source E, okay, external source of EMF E. Now what we can observe from here by looking at the diagram is that any two resistors are said to be in parallel when the endpoints of that resistors are common. So for in this case the endpoint of the R1 and R2 coincides. So we can say that R1 and R2 are in parallel. Similar is the case with R2 and Rn. The endpoints are common. So we can observe from this uh, diagram, from this figure that each of the resistors has its endpoints in common to each other. So in other words, we can say that all of these resistors are connected in parallel with each other. 
Now, the same thing which we will be doing again here is to determine the value of the equivalent combination, the equivalent resistance of this circuit. And for the parallel case, for the parallel case, the equivalent resistance is given as 1 by R equivalent equals to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 and 1 by Rn. Okay. Uh, now, again, here, uh, in order to get the concept well, uh, we'll be taking some example. We'll be doing it with the same example which we uh, did uh, using series combination. We'll be taking three resistors, okay, with uh, value of first as 8 ohm, the second also as 8 ohm, and the third one R3 as suppose I take it as 4 ohm. Okay, so 8 ohm, 8 ohm, and 4 ohm. These three resistors are connected in parallel. Okay, we need to determine what is the value of the equivalent resistance for this case. Okay, so after substituting in the general formula for parallel combination, we can get R equivalent is 1 plus R1 plus 1 plus 1, uh, sorry, 1 by R2, 1 by R3. Okay. So, this is equivalent to 1 by 8 plus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 4. And this is 1 by R equivalent. So, after solving this, what we can get is R equivalent would be 1 by 4. So, it would be 2 ohms. Okay. Just keep in mind that at the end, you have to take the reciprocal of the result because the result in the LHS, we have 1 by R equivalent. So, we will be getting the value of the equivalent combination of the resistor as 2 ohm. Okay. Now, here also what we can observe is that the equivalent resistance which we are getting, that is 2 ohm, is even smaller than the smallest value of the resistor which is present in the circuit. Okay. That is, as we can see here, the smallest value of the resistor which is present here is 4 ohm. And the result of the equivalent combination is even smaller than that 4 ohm. Than that, 4 ohm. that is, we are getting is 2 ohm. Okay. So, suppose if you, if you want to decrease the value of the resistor of the circuit, what we can do is that we can connect some very small value of resistor in parallel with the combination. So, that the net uh, effect of the resistance is even smaller than that value of the smaller resistance which is present. Okay. So, as I said, we will be using this concept later on when, we'll, when we will be discussing the topics for voltmeter and emitter. Okay. Uh, now, uh, here we have seen that the resistors are uh, in series or in parallel, but it doesn't mean that every combination of resistors and parallels are in series. Okay, uh, there may, there might be cases wherein we can see that the resistors are neither in series nor in parallel. Okay, uh, let us take a very uh, good question on uh, the combination on to determining the value of the equivalent uh, resistance across a circuit. 